welcome to Discovery Center's first Read-a-thon. My name is Nikki Cordial and I have three wonderful books to talk to you about written by author Peter H. Reynolds. The first one is about a little boy who loved to draw and his name is Raymond and the book is about him and the title of the book is Ish. Ish. Raymond loved to draw just like you and I. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother Leon leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? he asked. Raymond could not even answer. He crumpled up the drawing and he threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, just right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper later, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want, he said. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away. But before she did, she picked up the paper, the crumbled piece of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at all the crumbled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. Well, that was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vacious, she exclaimed. Vaseish. Raymond looked closer. Hmm. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's wall and began to see them in a whole new way. Well, they do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized, thinking ishlessly allowed his idea I'm sorry, thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without any worry at all. Raymond one again, once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals with a tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, and sun-ish. Raymond realized he could draw his feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was really writing poems, but he knew they were poem-ish. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. The end. Now, if you like this story about vase-ish paintings, you might want to look for more of Peter Reynolds' books. One being Sky Color, a little girl uh, learning how to draw the sky, or The Dot, which is another one of his special books. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the Discovery Center. And uh, thank you again. Bye-bye.